again. Another little call through our video. I've had a little walk up and down Akaravi High Street and Rhoda and took some pics of the, some of the bars and restaurants that are open already. Some are new, some are old. Uh, just to give you an idea of what's going on. It's very friendly here, there's still no refugees here, there's no bombs, no terrorists. In fact, as I said once before, I have mosquitoes, what we have of them, are so friendly, they come and give you blood back. So come and see us, here's a little taster of what's around. Thanks for watching. This is the Glue Glue. It's at the Cassiope end of town, little cafe neon, very cheap, very nice. Local people go there, give it a go. Moving right along now into Akaravi from the Cassiope towards Roda. Um, this is a nice place to rent your motorbikes from. They're nearly new bikes or brand new bikes, very good quality. And the owner is immediately jumping to attention at any time to give you his personal attention, as you can see. It's a good place to rent the bikes. We're going on the back street now, the old village. And of course we're going to look at Harry's Bar, which is the very first bar ever in Akaravi. It's been here 25, 30 years. Always something happening here. Very good, very good atmosphere. This place is called The Cube. It's near the roundabout on the high street. I've never been in there, but I've heard good stories. And of course here is the good old Hoverley. I've spent many a happy hour sitting on the terrace there, people watching, supping a glass of wine. And it's a very nice place, Cafe Neon, good atmosphere again, and a place I frequent. You can play darts, or just soak in the atmosphere. And of course, across the road is the Demetra supermarket. Now, this is where I go for meat and cheese and deli stuff. They have a superb meat and butchery counter, and the deli is worth a visit on its own merits. So go there for your meat and cheeses, what have you. And next door is Freddo's. This is a little bit upmarket bar, and it's a place to go and see and be seen. And it's very, very nice. Good measures, actually, in here. Well worth a visit. Very, very, very nice inside. And moving on, we're now at the Akaravi Park Restaurant which is a really lovely place, it's a waterfall theme. I've eaten here, the food is excellent, prices are very reasonable, and the service is excellent. I can recommend this place. It's very, very clean, very good quality food. It's in the high street, still of Akaravi. And of course, coming out of there, we're going to move along the high street again and this is what well, I call it a spud bar. But it's Yanni's bar, a little cafe neon. Again, where the locals go, quite cheap, good prices, and the locals will make you welcome. Lots of atmosphere, very, very local place. And now I'm on the beach, and this is the last restaurant in Akaravi on the beach called the Lavender Bar, and it's new. The food is excellent, the atmosphere is excellent, the prices are reasonable, it's very, very clean, and it's open all the year round. I quite uh, like the place, but of course, been living here, one tends to stick to your local bars. <laughs> but little of expats go here. Lots of expats uh, patronise this place. I think we'll go inside and have a look. and the weather's bad, you can sit inside naturally. Not that we have bad weather in Corfu.
Hello, Michelle. Hi. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Are you busy, busy? Crazy busy. <laughs> uh, are you booked up for Christmas? Fully booked for Christmas, actually. That sounds really good. Okay. We've got afternoon teas on this afternoon, so it's... Uh... It'll be crazy. Oh, afternoon tea. That's oh. an English type tea, is it? Oh, yes, with all the cake stands, cakes and scones and sandwiches. Ah, that's, that's nice. Yes, it'll be lovely. Ladies' lunch. ...to Rhoda along the beach, you will see the Mediterranean corner shop. And this is that lovely little place where you can go to buy all those English knickknacks and food that you like and have a drink while you're shopping. Run by English, Sandra, and it's very, very nice. It's a nice walk actually from Akaravi to Rhoda along the beach. This is a Theodora. When you get to the end of the beach road, bear around to your left, and this is rather a magnificent Olympian holiday place where you can go and use the bar and use the pool. It's very, very new and very attractive. I was a bit surprised when I saw it, I must admit. I didn't realise it was here to be quite honest with you. It's just because I was walking that I came across it. But they were very friendly to me and said, film, do what you like. Which is always a pleasure, of course. I'm at the top of the town now, about a hundred yards down from the traffic lights, and this is the Drosia restaurant. Been here for years. Cheap food, very lots of quantity, and really good people. You'll enjoy it here for good food at the right price. I eat here quite a lot, to be truthful. Okay, I'm at the back road now of Rhoda, and this is Sandy's Arms. Again, it's been here a little while, it's all been changed, and you get a good glass of wine here. A very good glass of wine. Again, very friendly, English. And of course, now we've got Oscars. Well, we all know about Oscars. This year they've got uh, DJ Marky Buck, international DJ, and there'll be shows, tributes, food, drink. There's so much going on here. It's my local when I'm in Rhoda, and I think one of the best bars around. So I'm just walking along the beach now back towards Akaravi and looking at the tables and some beds and chairs on the beach. Lovely day as usual. And there of course you've got a bar uh, which fronts onto the high street with tables at the back. And here, hold on. Got Crusoe's, which is an English type pub. Tables on the beach as well. Now I'm walking down the high street, still in the direction of um, Akaravi. As we walk along, just having a look. This is Mackie's. It's along a little alleyway. They've got apartments and a beautiful English restaurant bar with a swimming pool. If you use the bar, you can obviously use the pool and some beds free of charge. 
I like popping in here once in a while. They're such nice people. And this place is called the Boathouse. It's fairly new. And I've heard a lot and lots of English talking about it and saying how nice it is to come here and sit here because it is literally on the beach. And now I'm at the top of the road, at road crossroads where the traffic lights are, at the Piedra Cafe Bar. This is brand new, it's only just opened, and it's going to be a music cafe and bar. It looks really good inside, and the owner promises me that there'll be fabulous music. He also owns bars in Akaravi as well. So this might be a nice little place to visit in the evening. That's your lot. Thanks for watching. Apologies to the bars and restaurants that I missed out. I do say I'm sorry. I'll get you next time. Have fun. Come and see us. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>